why you should do Facebook Live uh, part two. Um, this is tip number 40 of the life-changing business tips. And I want to share with you today that if you're not yet using Facebook Live to uh, promote your business, to add value to your, uh, your database, then you really want to. There's a heap of value to come from this for you and for your, uh, your audience. So there, it's reported by Facebook that you're likely to get 10 times more engagement from doing a Facebook Live video than you will from pre-recording or pre-editing a video and putting it up there. Uh, for me, the reason I love doing a Facebook Live video is a way that I can give instant value. If I have an idea or an insight or something I see my clients are struggling with, I can come on here and share immediately. And of course, it reaches a much wider audience and can hopefully make a difference to, uh, to more people's lives. I, I particularly love that it can be very interactive. If someone wants to, uh, to, to message me something here or say something here, then there's an instant uh, interaction. And I think it, it, there's something really powerful about it. There's one of the reasons that many people don't do it is because you're very raw. It's very vulnerable. If you say something wrong or mess up, is there, is live. Okay, so, uh, but that piece of authenticity allows you, I think, to connect more. People can see, uh, get an insight to, uh, to what's going on in your environment or, uh, or where you are. I think the other cool thing about doing Facebook Live is that it's very low cost. There's, it's free, I can push a button, providing I'm somewhere with an internet connection, then hey, I'm, I'm off and running, no problems whatsoever. Um, and there's no cost to edit it or do anything afterwards to get it ready. It's done, and it's live, and, and it's out there. Uh, the other reasons I really like it, and we'll go into this a little bit more, is that once I record a Facebook Live video, it's so easy for me to take it from here and put it into other media. So uh, once this, this is finished, it automatically gets posted to Twitter. So now my SEO is growing through Twitter. If I typed in my name now, then it, it would come up uh, in Google. If it typed in my name, not only would the Facebook post come up, but the Twitter post would come up. I'm not even on that platform. It just automatically posts. So we'll talk a little bit more about what are the other platforms you can immediately get this content onto to begin, begin growing your awareness. So like, I think I've shared quite enough reasons why with you, but the key messages you get to add value to a, a community very quickly and very easily. Um, for me, I, I've set myself the challenge to be doing this daily. I haven't made it every single day, but uh, I'm tip number 40. So this is the 40th time uh, that I've done this and it's already bringing me more income. And how is it bringing me more income? Because uh, past clients who are seeing this are getting reminded of the value that I have or the experience I have or the connection that we had in the past and they're reaching out to me and they're connecting and as a result that we're, we're generating more work together. So it can be a great way to bring past clients back to you who haven't uh, haven't remembered you, who haven't been connected with you for a while. Uh, more importantly, it could be a way to attract new people to you. And these other platforms that I'm talking about, um, I have other followers here and there that I've never met yet. I've never, never connected with them. They've had a personal conversation and yet they're watching this and getting value from this. So it's gonna help generate more uh, connection and potentially more work in the future. So um, hopefully I'm selling the benefits of doing a Facebook Live. If you're one of those people who've often thought about doing it but haven't got into it yet, it's not difficult. There's only a couple of buttons to press and you're off and running. And if you're concerned about how you look or how you come across, then don't worry, if, if it goes wrong, you can you can easily delete it. I This one I tried to do just now and it, it didn't work, so I deleted it very quickly and no one will ever see it, hopefully. Uh, so uh, if you haven't done a Facebook Live yet, my call to action for you or my challenge for you today is go ahead, do one. Think of something that might add value to your community or your potential prospects and go share. That would be it. And of course, as always, if you like this or find value from it, please leave me a comment below. If you do post a Facebook Live, tag me in it. I'd love to uh, to comment and share that. But of course, if you'd like to share share here, that would be awesome. Uh, that's it. That's it for me. I'll be back with tip number 41, and I'll tell you how you can take your Facebook Lives and post it across four or five different platforms to generate even more interest in many different locations, help boost your SEO. Anyway, that's enough for today. Catch you tomorrow.